In this video, I'm going to tell you about the little plastering accident I had the other day. My name's Stephen from Inexterious Painters and Decorators, and you're watching Inexterious TV. And this is my plastering accident. Right, basically on Monday, oh no, on Tuesday morning, it's now Thursday afternoon, about midday, so on Tuesday morning, about 8.30, Right, basically, I like to help my builder mate at uh, some times. Um, so when he needs an hand putting steels and taking walls down, I like to be there and give him a hand because, you know, he, he's back in my dark days, he, he helped me out a lot. Um, so I like to help him out when I can. And so, like, if he's on a roof and he needs some tiles passing for a day or whatever, you know, I just, I just like to help him out every now and again. And what I really like to help him out with sometimes, well, all the time, is plastering if I can. Now, we're both working on the same job. Well, I'm to decorating it, but he's at the plastering stage of it now. So, so sometimes to help speed things along, I mix plaster for him and I have a little go at it myself. And over the last sort of 12 years, you know, you get a little bit better at it. And, and I'm, I'm, you know, you just try and master it. Not master it, but just try and... Try and learn different things and just so you can get by. And with plastering, I'm starting to get there to where I, I can get by. So the night before, I thought, right, let's do a little bit of research on YouTube, see if we can pick up any hints and tips. So I did. I got onto YouTube. I found this tip where it says, after you've wet your handboard and your, your trowel float or whatever, get a little bit of plaster, rub it onto your handboard and rub it onto your trowel. So when you put your first bit of plaster on it's not sliding all over and also give it a little a little up and down like that so it's to suction on now i didn't tip it up and down at that point to see if it had suctioned on but anyway as we're going along i'm putting it on and going on the ceiling and i'm thinking yeah you know it's not got sliding all over the place we're up and running this is probably the best start to plastering i've ever had then I get down, I realise that some more stuff needed mixing up, so I thought, right, I start mixing up some more stuff, so the, the tap was running sort of quite slow, so I thought, right, I'll get the bucket, the gorilla bucket underneath the tap, and get that filling up, and while that's filling up a bit, I'll continue to do some more. And as I've got up on the ladders to go, and start doing it again, a little bit just dropped and went bang, straight into my eye. And I knew at that point, it hit the money spot. I mean, it was horrific. Now, let me just see if you can get a close up. You know, so this was, this is looking a lot better now. So this was ch Tuesday morning. It's now Thursday afternoon. So can you see that? I'll just try and get a little bit closer for you. You know, that's improved massively. So, let's just get back here. So basically, I got to this tap after that and I was just rinsing it and rinsing it and rinsing it. And I just could not open my eyes at all. It was, it was horrendous. Now, after about, I think, 40 minutes to an hour of rinsing it, I ended up um, coming home. And... Gradually throughout the day, I was starting to get my, you know, slight bits of my eyesight back as the day went along. Um, but it hurt. And then that evening, I didn't sleep because every time I'd drop off for an hour, my eye would stick together, you know, with all the sleet and stuff like that. So, like, every hour or two, I was having to sort of pull it apart. I mean, in the process, I was like, sort of cleaning it with eye solution. Um, maybe I should have went to hospital, but what I should have done was just wore these. You know, like, the amount of times I've had little bits in my eye of dust when I've been sanding and stuff like that, and, and, and I've not wore these, and I've just took it for granted, so... Basically, I am now gonna re re wear these with ev everything I do above me and every situation that I need to be wearing these goggles, I'm gonna wear them because that was a wake up call. I mean, it's now 
So I did this on the Tuesday morning. It's now Thursday about midday. And this is like what it looks like. And this is the first time I've been able to keep it open without it wanting to shut. Because all day yesterday it was staying open for spells, but then just like wanting to shut. So all I can say is, I know people are going to say, Stephen, I've told you so to wear goggles and dust masks. I do wear dust masks uh, most of the time, but sometimes I do get caught short. But what I don't wear are these. You know, so what I'm going to do from this day moving forward is make sure I wear these at all times. I'm going to wear dust masks at all times. I'm not going to leave any excuses. I'm going to make sure I've got plenty of the stuff in the van. So, yeah, so that was my, my plastering accident experience. So I hope that um, helps you. So if, if you're doing it and you're a novice like me at plastering, I mean, the professionals don't seem to wear goggles, do they? They just seem to, but I'm sure they just seem to crack on, but I'm sure that they would have um, been hit in the past. But yeah, honestly, that was one of the worst, um, one of the worst accidents that I've had. The other one that I had was falling through a roof and breaking my ribs, but that, that, that was up there for a time and it was really scary and... I don't want to go through that again. So, like I say, I hope you can learn from my experience. I know I'm meant to be a professional. Um, I don't always wear the health and safety stuff like I should do. Like I say, I do try and wear masks, but I always use the excuse that that the goggles sort of steam up when you're trying to use them, which they do, and, and it does make it hard to see. But moving forward, I'm just going to make sure I wear them. And if... And definitely, 100%, if I'm doing anything above me, using any power tools, or, you know, if I'm sanding, I'm just going to put up with the, the steaming and the glasses um, in future. Yeah, so that's my plastering accident experience. So thank you very much for watching and take care and I'll see you soon.